Thank you very much, Scott. Bull market or not, investors are always searching for stocks that pay dividends. And dividends per share for S&P companies in the 500 index grew last year by 16% and the number of companies who pay a dividend hit a 13-year high. Jackie DeAngelis is here to break it all down for us. Hi, Jackie. Hi, that's right, Sue. The number of companies paying a dividend over the trailing month period hit a new 13-year high of 405, or roughly 81% of the S&P 500, according to FactSet. They also point out that in terms of sector, it was technology, financials, consumer discretionary. They were the top three leaders in year-over-year -year growth on a per-share basis. In terms of the aggregate payout ratio, telecommunication services and utilities, they had the highest payout ratios for the 11th consecutive quarter. Now, the S&P's aggregate dividend yield is slightly more than 2%. That's in line with the 10-year daily average. The top 10 companies by common and preferred dividends paid on a trailing 12-month basis AT&T, Exxon, GE, Microsoft, Chevron, J&J, &J, Pfizer, P&G, Wells Fargo, and Philip Morris. Those names not really surprising to be on that list, but some of the top 10 companies by dividend yield on a trailing 12-month basis were L Brands, Pitney Bowes, Wynn Resorts, Garmin, Entergy, Laura Lard, Pepco, Diamond Offshore, Altria, and Abbott Labs. The bottom line here, Sue, there are definitely a lot of companies in a diverse range of sectors that do pay dividends. These that we mentioned are some of the ones that analysts feel are poised to go higher in 2013 because they allow investors to put that risk on the table in equities, but they offer a little protection because of their dividend payouts. J&J &J just hitting a new all-time high today. Sue. Jackie, thank you very much.